with my co-host Colin Hanelman. Right now, we're going to start with basketball. Colin, what do you think about the Dwight Howard deal? Honestly, I thought it was a great decision for him. Mike D'Antoni was not the fit for Dwight Howard. His he got Kobe Bryant, and Kobe Bryant's the star of the team. Right when he was with Orlando, he was the star. So I think it was kind of a tough adjustment, and with all the people in LA, I think Houston will be a better fit because you see from Yao Ming, they get can get the guy the ball in the middle. That's what he gets in. He gets the ball to the middle, and can score there, and that's where he's gonna be most effective. And I think it was a good decision for both him and the Houston Rockets. What? Well, I think is. I think one of the reasons he didn't do as good as the Lakers, like you said, Kobe Bryant was the face of the franchise, and Howard was used to being the star. But also, it was he had to go. He was all the way on the East Coast, and he went all the way to the West Coast. I think that he wasn't very comfortable. Plus, a lot of fans get in that stadium, big, big stadium and it probably put a little pressure on him. And now, how did you think about last night's home run derby? Surprising. First, both captains didn't even make it past the first round. And Yonis Conspetis, he was an alternate. He wasn't even supposed to be in the derby. Then someone got, Miguel decided not to go, and then he came into the derby, and then he ends up getting 17 in the first round. And in the second round, he wins, and I mean in the finals, he wins with five outs left. He had half of his outs left, and he already won. What do you think about it? I'm like with you. There's one word I have to describe last night. Surprised. First, Cespedes, he had a great night. He had 17 home runs in the first round. Then his second round, good round, but the final round, that's what people aren't looking at. He, he only need, he got nine home runs. He only got him five outs. So he definitely played great last night, even though he's not an all-star, which I'm not sure if it was a mistake or not, but he definitely showed that he could be an all-star in the future. And the captains, I was agreeing with you, the captains, I'm surprised. Neither played well. Neither had more than five home runs, and neither just played well. Prince Fielder, two-time champion, didn't do well. Cano and Wright both struggled. And I am really like the part about Bryce Harper as well. Like Harper, he's 20 years old. Some people didn't always think he was a power hitter as much as just a overall phenomenon. Now you can show he's got that extra power and can hit those home runs as well. And I liked it that he played well and I expect good things out of him in the home run derby in the future. And now the final topic, who do you think is going to make it to the World Series? For the AL, that's going to be a very close one. But honestly, I think the Red Sox just have the best overall team in the American League. You always talk about the Tigers and Orioles with their power hitters and their big explosive offenses. The Red Sox just have as good of an offense and have David Ortiz. And I think they're going to win that division and go to the World Series. They're going to verse the Cardinals. They also have a super complete team, have a few good pitchers, have great offensive players. They know how to get through the playoffs, and they've been getting through the playoffs the last few years. And I think even though with the Giants winning a period World Series, I think even if the Giants make it, the Cardinals definitely have the experience. They have some older players, but they have the experience and have a very good team overall offensively and defensively. And I'm saying the Red Sox and the Cardinals, and I think the Red Sox take it in six games. In my opinion, I think in the AL it's going to be the Rays, and in the NL the Pirates. And I just have a feeling that the Rays are going to pull it out in seven games. That, that's the show for the Edelman Show. I'm Colin Edelman, here with my partner Corey Edelman. Song. Have a good night. Back to you, Kevin.